What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. I gotta talk about Keith one time Thurman versus Leonard Bundu. Let's go, let's get into it. Now, to me, from what I've seen and read and shit in comments, there's a notion or this con this concept that Leonard Bundu is just a total scrub and it's going to be a destruction on behalf of Keith Thurman. Now, if you follow my channel, you know it's no secret. I like Keith Thurman. Um, really, what I like about Keith Thurman is I've been able to see progress. When he first came out, I liked him, but he was like real, real wild and like it's like he had like untamed energy and he made even more mistakes. But I've seen him scale it back. I've seen him get tested and have to go the distance with uh, Jan Zibik and guys like that. I've seen him make adjustments versus Diego Chavez. So I really like Keith Thurman. I, however, don't feel this particular fight is getting enough um, respect, if you will. I still think this is, I think this is a solid fight. I don't think Keith Thurman, and I'm going to explain in this video, I don't think he's going to go in there and just knock this guy out in the first round like some of the comments are suggesting. I think this is a good competitive fight. Now, I'm not feeling froggish enough to go inside with Leonard Bundu and say he'll win this because I don't think he will win the fight. However, I don't think it's as uh, much of a whitewash and non-competitive fight as some people are making it seem. And the reason is because there's a few reasons. Leonard Bundu, if you know anything about boxing and you watch his style and whatnot, it's, it's harder to beat and be the first to beat an undefeated fighter. Both of these guys are undefeated at the moment. So somebody's O has to go. And again, if you know boxing, that is that alone becomes hard, you know what I'm saying, in order to take someone's O and be the first to defeat them. They got a lot of momentum. Now, Keith Thurman is undefeated, but so is Bundu. And Bundu, at a pro level, has more experience than Keith Thurman. I'm not talking about amateurs. I'm just talking about pro fights. Now, both of them have had limited comfort. Uh, competition for various reasons. A lot of people don't want to mix it up with Keith Thurman, but you can't, a guy who's 40 and undefeated, even with limited competition, you have to give him some level of credit because that, you know what I'm saying? He has a, he has a good amount of fights. Not like he fought 12 people and he's undefeated. He's been fighting and you got to give him credit. So anybody who's a veteran, you got to respect them. If, if they have experience, experience is huge. Um, Another thing, a lot of people think because of other fights, at the at, at the end of the day, fuck other fights. Because what you do to one fighter, you know what I'm saying? I've seen fighters look horrible, and then the next fight, they look great. You know what I'm saying? I mean, look at look at Miguel Cotto. Miguel Cotto versus Austin Trout, he looks suspect, and I'm a longtime Cotto fan. He didn't look good in that fight at all. I don't care if you're Puerto Rican. I don't care if you're related to Cotto. He did not look good. Conyo, he looked great against Delvin Rodriguez. So, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't take things into consideration. So, Leonard Bundu, he's coming from the UK. And I generally, I really don't feel, I mean, I feel your skills are going to limit you. But I don't think a lot of these fighters, whether they have the capability of stopping these guys or beating these guys, I don't feel that most fighters are coming for the paycheck and coming to lose. Like, yeah, I'm content getting my ass whooped. You know what I mean? This is a 30-year-old, 40-year-old, whatever. I don't know exactly what age he is. I think he's like 40 or some shit. Um, and I don't think he, he's coming with the mentality of, I want to lose. He wants to be known in America. You know what I mean? We just seen last week David Lemieux do the same thing. First fight in the States. And now people are talking about David Lemieux. They're like, oh, I want to see him versus Triple G. We went from... Two weeks ago, some of y'all motherfuckers didn't even know who David Lemieux was. Then he, he looks good against pretty much a journeyman in Gabe Rosado. And now all of a sudden people are saying, hey, I want to see him versus Triple G. Hey, it'd be great to see him fight Canelo. It'd be great to see him versus Cotto. That's the power of boxing and having a good performance. So I don't think Leonard Bundu is coming to lie down. I really don't. And again, just the age factor, that's experience. And that's undefeated experience. So somehow, some way, whether he had close fights or not, he found a way to get it done. So I really don't see it as being a whitewash. Um, like, as in, 
he's just gonna get knocked out in the first round. Basically, the, the the comments that I'm seeing, and I like Keith Thurman a lot. Another thing, Keith Thurman is coming off of a shoulder injury, so I really doubt that Keith Thurman is gonna come out guns blazing in the opening second. You know what I'm saying? That that has a lot to do with um, like inactivity, ring rust, coming off of an injury. That does something to your confidence because you're not necessarily a hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? You're not. You're gonna be a little bit more apprehensive to throw, or you know what I mean. Your confidence shouldn't be at an all-time high. So I think coming off a shoulder injury is it's good timing for Keith Thurman and Leonard Bundu, or more or less for Leonard Bundu to actually fight Keith Thurman because he's coming off of an injury. People, you got to take, that's why, like, my predictions have been pretty good. It's because I try to take as much data in into consideration as possible. Thurman is coming off of an injury, so what would that do? Aside from coming off of an injury, he just fought Diaz, who basically had to retire on the stool and didn't really give him any work. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't even really competitive. So, Keith Thurman didn't have to really struggle. He didn't have to break a sweat, deal with adversity or anything. In the Julio Diaz fight, it was just pretty much easy work for him, like a lot of people are saying with with Linder Bundu, and that's a guy who's who's been off losses, and you know what I mean Julio Diaz lost to Sean Porter, he got knocked out by Kendall Holt, etc. So that's a it wasn't an undefeated fighter, and Keith Thurman made easy work of it. So one could even argue that Keith Thurman has virtually been out of the spotlight for quite some time because if you if you remember he fought on the undercard to Lucas Matisse John Molina and guess what both of them motherfuckers have fought since Lucas Matisse fought against the Roberto Massa he fought him and then John Molina fought on the Mayweather undercard versus Humberto Soto since they fought each other meanwhile Keith Thurman ain't fought shit you know what I'm saying but an injury so being out of the ring that long and then when you were in the ring, you didn't really get tested. You didn't really get much work in. I think this is going to be more competitive than people uh, give it credit for, just because they haven't heard of Leonard Bundu. Now, last thing I'll say is if you look at Leonard Bundu and his style, that's another reason why I feel um, it could um, be more competitive than people are leading on. It's because Leonard Bundu, if you watch him, he throws a lot of fucking punches. Now, I'm not going to say they're all destructive triple G punches or nothing like that, but that's a good way to win rounds because you're active and your work rate. So, and he looks like he's always in shape. He's an Italian, he's an Italian dude and he looks like he comes fit. So, conditioning, I don't see it being a problem. He throws a lot of punches. I think this is going to be probably more competitive than people are um leading on to. So I'll just leave it at that. I am picking Keith Thurman to win it, but I think he's going to, I don't think it's going to be easy work like the Julio Diaz fight where it just looked like he didn't really have to do much but open up. I really don't see it being that type of fight, but I am picking Keith Thurman. Let me know what you guys think of the Leonard Bundu fight. I think Bundu's activity level and his work rate, his conditioning, his heart, his being undefeated mentality, I think that will play a part and make it competitive while it lasts. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like my video as always. Hate, comment, or subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego Sunday off.